Okay, so I had a suggestion from one of my viewers, which is quite interesting, basically saying that I should just not adjust the camera so much, but zoom way out so they can see everything on the map. So I'll try a quick episode like this and get some feedback from people. So, where are we? Okay, so I just rolled off uh, camera the Pacific War. Here's the marker here. Oh yeah, you can see that, right? Okay, so the marker on a one, two, or three, I rolled a one, it turns into a British Pacific Total War, which in some ways I'm not so sure I wouldn't have preferred as the Axis player for it to go on the Russian side to pull some of those um, things away. But on the other hand, this might help me succeed in Sea Lion. Um, now we're coming into the October turn right here. Okay, so we pull off these things and it's a new card. It's the first Total War card to be played and it's Operation Typhoon. In Operation Typhoon, it's just a, basically an extra blitz card that the Germans can get. Now, one of the problems the Germans are going to have, though, is they have no way to maintain that bridgehead. So we're going to have to look at the rules for maintenance of the bridgehead very carefully. So in the replacement segment, the Germans get one panzer and six infantry steps. Let's grab those. I'll go ahead and grab the airborne unit. That's two, three, four, five, and this. Yeah, we'll get this. mountain unit that can combine with the ski unit up in Finland. Okay, then I do get, uh, let's see, oh, I've got too many steps in Finland, so I can't get another Finnish unit. Um, what shall I get for my minor ally? I do get an Italian, so I'll bring in an Italian unit here in Naples and what else can I bring in? I've got a, you know, a Persian unit that's been conquered so that's gone. Um, Italian, Italian, Spanish units Some Romanians. I mean, it's looking like the Romanians are the best bet here. So we'll bring in a Romanian step right here in Bucharest. Okay. And these German steps come in. And I'm loath to commit that to the Eastern Front yet. We'll put that there. This one can also go there because it can be transported up to the Arctic. And then these three, I'll put hmm, one of them here and two there. Okay, then the Germans now have to select another card and they're pretty much stuck with this. They're gonna have to play um, Mobilization limits. This card is a mandatory card to get us. This was always played in the winter of the first year of the war, total war, really. So they have to play this here. Okay. Now, one thing I haven't done yet is move the. Don't know if you can see that, but way up at the top, the axis tide marker has now moved to the two track at six. I think they have seven now. So will they be able to get to nine? Not likely, not in this, not this turn. Not until next year, perhaps. Okay. So they're, they're all done with this sort of stuff. So now we have to look at how this beachhead's gonna be maintained. Let me look at the sequence of play here. Okay, so what's happening here is this beachhead 
um, I can't support it. Um, it's it's going to be removed no matter what I do uh, during the beachhead maintenance phase. Um, I can leave the marker on the map provided it meets the two conditions. One, that it's stacked with friendly units. Yes, the marker's beachhead hex side points to a land hex occupied by enemy units. No. So, that goes there. So these guys, though, will be able to do a beachhead landing and inland advance. Okay, and then the beachhead marker comes off. They're not going to be able to maintain that beachhead. They're going to have to reset the beachhead, but they don't have any units to do it. I have absolutely no support units. All I've got is a bunch of U-boats uh, at this stage. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's nice having a bunch of U-boats and M-boats and things like that, but uh, they're... Uh, <laughs> Isn't anything coming in till next turn? And the British have, on their side, two air units now, so this beachhead is probably dead. I don't know if I'll be able to maintain it, but, you know, people can stay out of supply for a long, long time in this game. Okay? So the beachhead maintenance phase is completed. Okay, so the only support units I'm going to put out here are these U-boats. I've got plenty of those. It's amazing how many of those I have, but I don't have any, any U-boat fleets. <laughs> so let's do some sub-attacks. I can also do a commerce raid, possibly. This might be a good turn to think about doing that. Let me check that out. So I'm going to try with these two German raiders right here. The Tirpitz and the Prince Eugen. Technically, this should have occurred before the beachhead marker phase, but it's not going to be relevant here. So at least I can try this. Let's roll these dice. Yellow die for the tur pits. They got to make their speed rolls. They both make their speed rolls, so they're out there. So here they are doing their commerce raid in the seasonal turn. Okay, I took a look at these uh, this possibility of commerce raiding, and because the entire British fleet is located in Scapa Flow, they're going to be able to try to intercept this. It's basically almost an impossible task for these guys to make it through because there's about 20, 30, uh, I'd say, how many ships do I have? At least 20 ships, four, four, seven, another 10 here. Yeah, I'd say over 20 ships. Uh, and I can group those in any sizes I want and then they can come in and roll on the interception table. Uh, the interception is successful. Um, if I roll a 1, and those coming from an off-map box get to roll an extra minus 1. That's why there's some of these guys over here. Um, they could all group up. Or you can try to roll them separately. So, yeah, no commerce rating. Now when the entire British fleet is in Scapa Flow, it's just not going to be practical. So that ends that. So let's just do these subs. Let's see what the sub rolls are. We got two German subs. All right, first one will be black. And sub patrols, a three and a four. So a three is I can attack any one BB. So I do that first. And let's pick a nice BB. How about the hood? Let's see if we can take out the hood. Two shots on the hood with that BB. Okay, let's see what happens to it. Four to five, it's disabled. So this one goes into the Naval Warfare Delay Box. Okay, the four means a low speed BB. That's gonna be something like the, the Middle East or something like that. What do I have here? No, actually. Uh, I'd have to pick one of these slow ships here on the outskirts. Looks like it would be this French ship. Two shots on the French ship. A two and a three miss. Okay, these go in the naval warfare delay box. This guy's fine. And I have one Italian sub. 
it gives a shot out. Five. Uh, small ship. I can pick a cruiser just for fun. We'll take the Surrey over here. See if I can do a hit on it. A one is a miss. And that's that. Okay. No luck from the subs. That's it for the support weapon thing. Now, let's also check this out. Um, got this mass surrender card. Um, during a friendly political event segment. So I gotta wait to see on that. All right. Okay. So, we do have a blitz marker and there's no um, place better to put this than probably in Russia. I could attack Southampton twice. He's got 10. The best I can get is huh, 18, 3 to 2. He's going to have two shifts to my two shifts. 3 to 2 is just not a very good attack. Um, so that's not going to happen. So we're going to put the Blitz over here in Russia. Okay, so I just tried to improve the lighting a bit. Hopefully there's not too much glare. There's a bit of glare here. There, get that glare off. Get this glare off. Really need some of those umbrella lighting systems. And I don't have that yet. Okay. So there's the best lighting I can show you here. Um, Blitz marker is going to go over here on top of Kiev, make it an open city, more or less. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do com combinations and moves at this point. There's no other support that's going to be put down. I don't have any. Now, one thing probably could, I can't remember if I had the ability to put... Uh, down a Russian air unit. If I had, it would have been a mistake not to put it down. But I'm making a lot of mistakes as the Russians just to give the Germans a chance around here. I don't remember when this air force came in. But if it had come in, I could have put it in the last turn of summer on top of Kiev to help protect the city from being entered, at least. Uh... Didn't do it, though. So, uh, it's it's pretty rare, actually, where you have a chance to do that. Um, so, anyway, when I say that, it's because you really don't often uh, wind up putting an air unit out on defense like that. This might have been a time to do it, but they didn't. Okay, let's let's just move forward. Press forward here. Okay, continuing the reserve moves. Almost done, I think. Okay, so that's it for the Germans. The Western Allies are next. As I mentioned to you before, well, this military aid goes back into their box, and they got Commonwealth support here. Um, this doesn't go in their box. It goes in their deck. And Commonwealth support comes out. Uh, and this was a, true for one turn. That's only in the combined game. So, I get two Colonials and one Step. So let's go ahead and see what I get. Uh, then if I'm not a pack, which is the case, I'll get some more Colonial Steps. So let's get our Steps. Okay, so we got it out of the box. And... What they wound up with is an Australian unit and an Indian unit, which will come in as reinforcements. So that's that. They're also going to get one step. They have a South African unit as well. So we'll bring that in as well. That'll give me, I'm going to get, well, conditional event segment. I get one colonial step, then I'll get another one in September, October. 
so yeah, that'll be fine. So I'll get this guy in the, where does it come in? West Africa box, right? West Africa. All right, there it is. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and pick a card here. Let me see what makes the most sense. Okay, so I really have my choice between Arcadia Conference and Operation Crusader. I'm not quite ready for Crusader to come up through Egypt yet. So I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to risk the Arcadia Conference, though. There's a Pacific commitment here. I might have to wind up putting yet another support unit in the Pacific War Display, or I might get that one back. That's a bit of a crapshoot, but I also get something on the conference table and some steps. So this is what I'm looking for. We're going to do that. All right. So Commonwealth support is done. Now in the political segment, I can try to do this mass surrender during a friendly political event segment. Roll one die with no DRM and apply the result. So they're looking for the major effect here. Select one hex adjacent to a friendly ground unit. Eliminate all unsupplied enemy ground units in the hex. They're looking to crunch this. Try to get the guys to surrender. Hitler's on the phone saying, no, no surrender. Form a readout. So let's see what happens. They send in the major with a flag. The 1st Airborne Division. The roll is... Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it was going to be success. Poor Germans have just simply been not subject to good luck. I feel like I'm playing advanced squad leader and the enemy's getting critical hits and snipers on my tanks and all sorts of stuff. So, as a result <laughs> of this fortunes of war, thanks Darren, we really appreciate this, um... All unsupplied ground units are eliminated. I can place a detachment in the hex. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not gonna, gonna do that. So, that's it. All of these steps are eliminated. Yikes. Let's go into the delay box, and that is the end of the invasion of Britain. So, that's probably a good place to quit here, but we'll continue on doing the rest of the British turn. Um, they have, uh, the opportunity to play some air forces here. Uh, I don't really have any attack. Well, I guess they could, might as well take out this thing. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, they'll take out the Marine, but they don't need an air force to do that. So we'll wipe them off the face of the earth there. Down here, could place an air force just to harass them, uh, keep them from attacking me, essentially. Um, I'm putting an air force here. Now, if I'm going to put an air force, put it so I'm protected. Uh, la, 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 la. Is that necessary? What do the Germans have next turn coming in? I have an interceptor. They have an air force. I don't really need to waste it on that. I'd rather keep my air forces around for my attack and crusader coming in from the south of Egypt, Sudan. Not that the Germans will be suspecting that. Okay, so no support weapon. Support units will be placed. Uh... What do we got here? Just some movement. There's really no movement necessary here. Just need to protect uh, the South Pacific. South Pacific. The Middle East. I guess that eventually that does protect the South Pacific. Let's make sure we can't get surrounded. We could actually get surrounded from there. So let's move there. And to protect ourselves from any dire consequences. That should be fine. I don't know if that lake hex side was there before, but now it makes it a lot harder to attack Kuwait. Uh, all right. That's really it for the Brits down here. Uh, they'll 
transfer their South African to the East Africa box. You can see we've got a few units here in the East Africa box area. Okay, let's move in for the attack. And I might want to send... Do I want to send another infantry troop? Yeah, let's send another infantry troop through the North Atlantic. Let's get the mega view camera back on. It's a good idea. I hope this works for people. I'm going to send this up pretty quick. So they will then tran uh, transfer to the West Africa box. One step. Move these guys in. I'll have one, two, three. Plus eight is 11. That's more than enough uh, to take him out. Okay, that's it for the Western Allies. Oh, I do get one French step, or one minor Allied step, which is French. Uh, and uh, I do have this, mechan this uh, mechanized unit here that can build in Tunis. So that's where they're going to go. Uh, to hopefully try to hold out. I don't know, it's going to be tough, but why not give it a try? Okay, let's do the attack. It's a 9 to 1 on the hapless Marines. How well do they fight it off? A 4, ooh, they tried, not good enough. And they are eliminated and put also in the delay box. And then these guys... And reserve move back to where they were, protecting the coast. But that's going to be the end of it, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if there's any ladies watching this. I'd be amazed. And happy if they were. Very happy. All right. No other moves for the Western Allies. Conditional events segment. They'll bring in, they can bring in an Indian or an Aussie. They both come in the Middle East box, so that's where they are. Okay, good. Very, very good. Okay, that's it for the Commonwealth. We'll stop here, and we'll do the Russians later. All right, because I want to get this up and see what people think about this new setup. Here we go. Bye, and thanks for watching.